The sprawling building near Southfield and Joy Road is definitely showing its age. Cody High School was built to serve the growing population of Detroit in the 1950s. But over the decades, things changed, and those changes weren't always good for Cody. There was a lot of gang violence. The attendance rate was awful. The graduation rate was even worse. How many tens I got? Tanya Ray has been a math teacher at Cody for 12 years. Something had to be done. So five years ago, Cody began a total transformation. The one big school was divided into three smaller ones, the Detroit Institute of Technology, Medicine and Community Health Academy, and the Academy of Public Leadership. The goal was to break the school into smaller, more intimate communities. We're able to shape curriculum within that format, but the key was creating relationships between teachers and students and, and the community. Each school has about 400 students and its own section of the campus. This year, the first class will graduate from the Cody Academy of Public Leadership, Question four. which, which started college? four years ago with 72 freshmen. We're graduating 95 seniors. We've actually increased in population since freshman year. Dewana Alexander is a junior. She told us she was a troubled student in middle school who might have failed in another environment. I probably would have dropped out or gave up or been kicked out or something worse. 54. But now she plans to graduate and go on to college. I love school now. So does Daniqua Alexander. Every student has someone that cares about them inside of Cody. Period. I don't care what school you're in, everybody has that teacher that they can go always go call on, that they can always lean on. This is like one of those one in a million schools, you know, that, that's changed. You know, it's, it's, it's a rare, it's a rarity. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News.